We are approaching 20 years since a Minnesota college student disappeared. As the somber anniversary moves closer, the case is getting more attention. In 2002, it is believed that Josh Gimo started walking to his dorm at St. John's University and no one saw him again. Just last week, Stearns County deputies released photos from Gimo's computer, hoping that someone will recognize one of these faces. Only on WCCO, our Kirsten Mitchell sat down with Gimo's father, who says that he is frustrated about the case, yet hopeful that he'll get long-awaited answers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Brian Gimo can't help but smile, thinking about the life his son Josh could have had. Even when he was little, he'd always, yeah, he'd want to be like a lawyer and argue, you know. With you? <laughs> yep. A life paused since November 9th, 2002, when Josh, a student at St. John's University, never made it home from a friend's place on campus. No body was ever found. Where's the body? Till then, he's alive. 20 years later, Brian still thinks Stearns County investigators were too focused on a theory that Josh fell into the nearby water. He even hired his own dive team to make sure. I've always said all along, for whatever reason, he was set up and grabbed for something he found out or whatever. Last year, he hired attorney Mike Patton, who he says no longer represents him after they lost a lawsuit against the sheriff's office to try to access Josh's file. But all I can say is it's just another day with no, more, with no answers. He says he didn't know they would be releasing the 28 photos found on Josh's computer and thinks they've had them for years. Oh, they're doing something. Oh, let's see, why are they doing something? Oh, that's right, Unsolved Mysteries airs tomorrow and then November 10th is 20 years. Brian will be featured in the Netflix show Welcome Publicity after two decades of waiting for answers. All you can hope for is that one person finally decides they can't take it anymore and you know I wouldn't want to be that person knowing something and not doing nothing. In Maple Lake, that'll catch up to you. Kirsten Mitchell, WCCO4 News. We asked the Stearns County Sheriff's Office why it's releasing the photos. It said that the, it is constantly reviewing the case, but couldn't say more. The office did confirm more tips have come in since the photos were released.